sad boy. I've been boy. I've been not even my car. No, I made my wrist a million nine months. Let's be the start for your dad. on the sidelines. Hey, Allie. Brian, as the NBA pivots away from the post and towards the perimeter, we're seeing more teams employ three-guard lineups to great effect, trading some size for skill. We'll see if the trend continues, but guys, for now, it seems that even if there's only one ball, having multiple ball handlers can be very effective. Very interesting, Allie. Good stuff there. Thank you. Here's what the Houston Rockets have lined up on the schedule. On Thursday, they'll be playing against Hassan Whiteside and the Utah Jazz. Then on Sunday, they'll face off against Anthony Davis and the Los Angeles Lakers. The road is never the highlight of your schedule for any team. But for these guys, it is a chance to go out there, test themselves, and see how well they gel outside of home court. It could be a very valuable experience. Now let's take a look at the Rockets' opening lineup. Green and Tate on the perimeter. Tyson Wood playing together in the front court. And it's Wall in at the point guard position. And for Dallas, Kleba and Porzingis, the combo inside. Luka Doncic is out there with Trey Burke. And it's Hardaway in at the small forward position. Here's Wood into the new season, Chris. Every team wants to start fast. How important is that? Yeah, you, you want to start uh, the, uh, the season fast. You should rather end the season playing your best basketball. But your team wants a strong start because that helps build them. Doncic, no good. Outside wall. Takes one from 10 feet. It's rebounded by Dallas. This game coming after a loss versus the Raptors. And they got to the line at a good clip, but couldn't cash in, and it ruined their chances. You can't leave empty points at the line. Those are gimmies. No excuses. At about 230 pounds, Doncic is a low down low. And finished off by Tice. Good timing on the alley-oop. I mean, you throw it Tice's way, and he takes care of it. Doncic against Wall. And the layup is good off the glass. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. And the tremendous confidence of Luka Doncic. Part of what makes him special, I think. What comes first, you think, Grant? The talent or the swagger? Wow, tough question, B.A. I think it's the talent. When you have great talent, then you have swagger. And you have to remember, I mean, he played professional in Europe at the age of 16. So he may be young, but he's well-seasoned. And he's been at this for a long, long time. Now here's Wall. Great D that time from Porzingis. For Dallas, they've gone two of three to get this one going. And that's a foul called on Jay Sean Tate. That's his first foul of the game. 
first team foul. Outside Porzingis. Doncic passes to Hardaway. Six on the shot clock. And there's Doncic. That's good. On the assist from Hardaway. Doncic has got his third bucket of the night. Here's Wall. Here's Wood. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. Got to be careful shooting around Porzingis. His length is so capable of erasing shots. Doncic passes to Hardaway. Got a piece of it. On the wing, Green. Guarded by Doncic. And that one's good. Green. Oh, even from that range, the floater is one of the toughest shots in the game. Stein, he's checked in for Kristaps Porzingis. Powell comes in for Kleba. Finney Smith's checked in for Hardaway. And Brunson is subbed in for Doncic. And the Rockets will go for a different look here. Martin, he's checked in for Tice. Nwaba comes in for Tate. Gordon, he's checked in for Green. And it's Porter Jr. in for Wall. The Mavericks have gone three of five shooting so far. Pass to Burke. Here's Cauley Stein. On the wing, Finney Smith. There's the triple. Counted from distance. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Gordon outside. Nice D from Cauley Stein. Aggressive mindset. But the defender just as determined to send him away empty-handed. Nice shot by Finney Smith. You got to love the decision-making from Willie really Cauley-Stein. I mean, aware he must keep improving his pass. Now here's Gordon. 15 in his last outing. And so it's going to be a three-second violation there on the defense. And we've got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And that kind of rejection early on energizes your squad. The coaching staff just loves this kind of hustle. And, and some stats Rockets. here, guys. The scoring the breakdown for the Mavericks. Well, they're just a team in sync right now. Their passing in the first half has been outstanding. They're showing some muscle here in the first half as well and getting a lot of their points in the paint. Free throw good from Gordon. Talk about checking the field at the field. Last year, Gordon shuttled between the starting lineup and the bench. Some guys would assault. He thrived. And the Rockets making a change here. Augustine's checked in. 127 left in the first quarter of the game. Connects from downtown. I mean, this is Gordon's offensive instincts going to work. I mean, feeds the open man the moment he spots him. And with the multi-dimensional role, it seemed like Gordon just became more efficient. His shooting percentage was up. Yeah, uh, he seemed to be enjoying the challenge, and maybe that sharpened his focus. Now here's Brunson. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Augustine with it. Now covers. Out of bounds. It'll be Mavericks ball. A sloppy turnover. When you're not locked in, you pay the price. The Mavericks have gone five of eight. Solid opening quarter for them. Burke on the wing. He's guarded by Porter. Kenny Smith with it. Gordon's on him. Shot clock at six. Here's Cauley Stein. And the ball's out of bounds. It was last Houston touched by Cauley Stein. Ball. 
We've got 33 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Now Gordon. There's 21 seconds left to play in the first. And it's Dorian Finney-Smith with the foul. That's his first foul of the game. Foul right off the bat. I hate to pick up your first one so quick. Seventeen seconds left in the first quarter. Unloads from 13. And he stays with it. Here's Augustine. Can't get the go-ahead bucket. And out of bounds. The Rockets will Rockets take it. Substitution for the Rockets. Still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Mavericks ahead, leading by one. And we'll be back right after this. been pretty close so far here and let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Mavericks it's simple the main takeaway from the first quarter is they're winning this game with defense yeah they really got after it I mean they made life extremely difficult for the shooters which is why they hold the lead. and there's a 10 second limit on free throw routines but we see some players ask for time before they get the ball Grant, do you think that should count as part of their time you know, B.A., I don't see why not. I mean, it's about keeping the game moving. So asking the ref to hold the ball longer, eh, not exactly compelling. Kleba and Porzingis, the combo inside. Tim Hardaway is out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Doncic in at the three slot. That's the lineup out there for the Mavericks. Here's Green. The Mavs get their last shot to go. Outside Tate. Let's go with a three. Hits a three-pointer. Tate's gotten himself on the board with a three there. Maybe he's not a priority for the D, but come on, man. You gotta have somebody keeping track of him. Doncic passes to Hardaway. Back to Doncic. And he trades it. A solid five for six now. Even with the D giving him a lot of attention, he's still finding ways to light him up. And he says he needs to improve his game in a lot of areas. But you ask me, Luka Doncic is one of the most complete players you'll find. John Wall. <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. And, and rightfully so. Also, how lackluster was the defense right there with the score this tight? And you talk about the overall game of Doncic. He's a tremendous passer, a tremendous rebounder, and we know he can score. And that's what defines the great players. Even if his shot's off on a given night, he has other ways to impact the game. And Doncic with the jam. We've seen why Doncic is a perennial MVP candidate. He's taken over completely at the offensive end. Over to the wing. Back to Wall. Pass to Green. Out to Wood. Beyond the arc. And the Rockets hit again from deep. Oh, don't forget about this fella for a second. He is the definition of dangerous. To the paint. Here's Kleba. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. Kleba's got his first points of the night. And force feeded the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Wall against Brunson. Down low. And Wood with the stuff. You see rolling out of the screen. What is a fluid athlete for a guy inside?
checked in for Kleba. Finney Smith comes in for Brunson. And Burke is subbed in for Hardaway. Nwaba, he's checked in for the Rockets. Porter Jr. comes in for Green. Mavericks trailing. Doncic into the lane. And that one drops. Doncic has got 14 points for the game. For Houston, they've gone a terrific 4 of 5 here in the second quarter. Wall, the pass to Tice. Powell with a steal. Here's Burke. And the three off target. Houston has gone two for two from outside the arc here in the second quarter. The three from Nuava. And the basket's good with the assist from Wall. Six points for him. Trading the lead back and forth. Neither side is willing to back down. This is a seesaw battle. Both teams are pretty evenly matched, and the score reflects that. Wall with it. Now Doncic defending. Ball against Doncic. That one doesn't drop. That works just like they drew it up. Till the part where he's short arms. To the Pass to Porzingis. And here's Doncic. Shakes him. Oh, a special move before that shot. When you watch Luca play, you can't forget he's 6'7. He can more than hold his own inside. Now a timeout called by Houston. And as we head into this break, the players have an opportunity to replenish their energy with Gatorade as they prepare to go into the final stages of this ball game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, not to mention over the course of a season, you have to stay hydrated. If you don't, it's amazing how much slower your body is to bounce back. It can have a serious effect on performance, no question. Houston making some changes. Martin, he's checked in for Tice. Gordon comes in for Nwaba, and it's Augustine in for Wall. One sixteen left in the half. Back to Augustine. Tate passes to Gordon. Martin a screen. And out of bounds. The Mavericks will take it. And with this break, a chance to see the best passers in the league from last season. Fifth on the list, Luka Doncic. Not a lot of guys have better vision on the floor than him. He was able to see passing lanes and ready shooters no one else could. Pass to Porzingis. And Eric Gordon gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. And the Mavericks make the change here. Holly Stein's checked in. Fifty-one seconds left in the first half of this game. Now here's Doncic. He's covered by Augustine. Doesn't go for him. So Houston will take it the other way. A tough loss coming against Boston in their last game. And the win was there for them, but they just let it get away. Just he couldn't make Augustine. enough plays late. Those are the games that really hurt. I mean, you're playing well, the effort's there, and in the end, it still is not enough. Now here's Doncic. 29 points for him last game against the Raptors in Toronto. That's what happens when you let Doncic get this close, using his vertical to perfection. Houston has gone five of six from three-point land so far. Now here's Gordon. He's marked by Finney Smith. Now here's Gordon. Just five on the clock. Fires the three. Doesn't go that time. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. Rockets ahead. Up by one. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? 
Thanks so much, much Chris, and you guys are holding the lead after two quarters. What's going to be the focus in the second half? Uh, just, you know, keep the same energy that we, uh, we're building off of. Uh, we just got to keep the same intensity. You know, they're trying to slow the game down, but we're doing a good job of playing our game and keeping our pace. Guys? Appreciate it. Oh, yeah. And we'll be coming right back, back after this break, ready for the third quarter. Hey, everybody. Halftime is upon us, and a battle is also upon us. Not Kenny and Shaq this time, thankfully but two outstanding players through the first half. A couple of players running wild at the point tonight, but both guys trying not to get too caught up in the head-to-head battle. As point guards, they still got teams on. They cannot make it personal. And now checking back in with the Houston Rockets, the matchup pretty even Steven, as they say, in the first half. We have to recognize their bench play. Sometimes we overlook the second unit, but tonight they've been the key. The coaching staff has got to be loving this. Getting that extra boost is huge. Appreciate you joining us. It's been our distinct pleasure, and I mean that. Let's now take you back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. Boy, really an incredible game here from Luka Doncic. Yeah, tonight he's done a great job of slashing through the lane and finishing. Yeah, slicing through the gaps in the defense. I mean, getting many of his buckets in the paint. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. So the Rockets five now. Tate and Tice holding down the forward spots. Manning the backcourt, it's Wall and Green. And it's Wood in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Uh, growing up, Wall played running back, wide receiver, safety. But just like his idol AI, he gave up the good eye for Hall. Now here's Hardaway. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Pass to Burke. And here's Porzingis. Tice defending. From deep, here's Doncic, and he gets it to go again. He's connected on 10 of 15 now. And of course, both AI and Wall were drafted number one overall. Both are fast, physical, ruthless, and they have the ability to carry a team. Now here's Wall. Here he goes. Wood outside from downtown, and good. Coming on the assist by Wall. Wall's got assist number seven tonight. It's a neck and neck game in Dallas. They'll face the Spurs at home after this one. That'll be the second and last game of a quick homestand. And here's Doncic outside. And the Mavericks, another three. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. Let's talk about the great competition going on. That's what makes a matchup like this so much fun to watch. This goes to. <laughs> A great move. I mean, the defense has no response. You'd like to see a little more energy coming out of halftime on the defensive. Now here's Doncic. He's got 24. Hardaway finds Doncic. Drops in the layup for two. Doncic has got eight here in this quarter. Assertive move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. Two minutes into the second half of play now. And Wall, here we go. And Wood with the stuff. So many ways for Wood to score. He can beat you back to the basket, facing up. He can go around you, or he can just go over. making a change here as well. Wabas checked in. And 
here with just about two minutes into the final half of play now. Ball against Brunson. Kleba outside to the inside. And stolen by Wood. And here we go. The Rockets in transition. And we'll finished off by Tice. That was just a great setup by Walt. I mean, he used his vision, found the open man. Here's Brunson. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. And here's Doncic outside. Sinks the tray. And the Mavericks lead by one. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. And here's Wall. Got it. They have no answer defensively inside. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. That's going to be over and back. Not watching the line on that one. Last thing they want to be doing right now is giving away possession. I mean, turnovers can kill you in this kind of game. Houston making some changes. Martin, he's checked in for Tice. Gordon comes in for Green. And it's Porter Jr. in for Wall. Now here's Gordon. Outside Porter. Wood, a screen on Brunson. Porter. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. And so it looks like the Rockets will retain possession here. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. One fifty-one left in the third. Here's Martin. He's checked by Kleba. And here's Porter outside. Porzingis grabs the board. Dallas has gotten all three from downtown so far in the second half. And Doncic puts up a deep three. It's rebounded by Houston. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. To the middle. Pass to Porter. Wood high post. For three, Gordon. Porzingis grabs the board. Porzingis has got rebound number five here tonight. Doncic passes to Kleba. Doncic right side. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Christian Wood picks one up. At seven foot three, Porzingis is a problem. Really makes defenses settle for fouling him and hoping he misses. That free throw, no good. A different look for Dallas. Powell comes in for Kleba. And Finney Smith subbed in for Luka Doncic. Augustine, he's checked in for the Rockets. And the second free throw is good. Could have taken the lead there, but instead, they're going to have to settle for the tie. And he lobs it up to the rim. And up the court they come. The Mavericks on the break. Two points. That one goes. Finney Smith's got seven points in the game. These teams just keep trading the lead. Yeah, you wonder what it's going to take for someone to pull away. Pass to Nwaba. No one near him. No good. A bit long that time. You got to move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. You're exactly right. I mean, that's the kind of shot you're trying to work for at the office. Now, here's Hardaway. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Outside Augustine. Now, here's Gordon. to Augustine. Fires from deep. Sends it home DJ from three-point land. Three point. Augustine's gotten his second bucket. Oh, it's all about the assist on that play. He puts it in the perfect spot. It's still anybody's game as we reach the end of three. 
Pockets ahead. They lead by one. All right, we're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of quarter number four next. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. <laughs> no, that's quick decision making. You see a guy open, you can't hesitate. That, that, that's an outstanding play. Right there. Man, I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. Dwight Powell out there with Willie Cauley Stein. Then there's Jalen Brunson, then it's Trey Burke, and it's Finney Smith in at the three. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. Cutting into this lead, they're well within striking distance. Yeah, just trying to keep the momentum now, and that's easier said than done. Houston has gone 7 of 11 from outside the arc. Nice percentage from distance so far. Oh, Cauley Stein with the block. And it's Dorian Finney Smith with the foul. That's foul number two for him. A different look for Dallas. Kleba, he's checked in for Powell. And Luka Doncic subbed in for Brunson. And the Rockets making a change here as well. Woods checked in for Gordon. Here's Tate. Tice passes to Wood. Back to Tice. Oh, Cauley Stein with the block. Capable of being a defensive anchor. Keith Cauley Stein is positioning himself to swat shots. Wood finds Green. Just five to shoot. Drives to the hoop. He's done a lot of the little things to help put them in front. I mean, but his offense has not been there for the night. Inside, here's Doncic. And he comes up with a bucket. Doncic has got 31 points. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. This is why they go to him in these spots. I mean, they trust his judgment and ability to score down the stretch. And you have to love it. The floor general taking things into his own hands. Just the aggression they're looking for, man. This is why they go to him when the game is tight. He ups his intensity. Level. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Houston in the lead. Left side wall. Doncic grabs the miss. He'll breathe a big sigh of relief if they hang on to win this game. He's not done much to contribute to it. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Doncic has got 15 points here in the second half. Clutch buckets. He's paving the way as they hit the home stretch. Wall, no good. The Mavericks have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Kleba outside. Pass to Doncic. From 10 feet away. The Rockets pull it in. Wall's got six rebounds now in the game. Let's the three fly. Gets the three to fall. Wall's got seven points for the quarter. He's been a different player since halftime. Coming on strong now. All right, fans. Get on your feet and make some noise for T-shirt time. Ladies and gentlemen, your Mavericks dance team. Line. Let's catch up with Allie. Over that last break, guys, I got a chance to hear what the head coach of the Mavericks said to the team. This is anyone's game. So he told them, stay aggressive, stay hungry. We can't afford to let up on the energy out there. He's hoping they'll finish with the flurry. Guys? Allie, thank you. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. Here's Finney Smith. That one falls. Great setup by Doncic. Trust Doncic to make smart moves with the ball. He puts it in the hands of a guy with a wide open shot. 
Wall against Doncic. Tice, a screen on Doncic. Wall, the pass to Tice. And finished off by Tice. Oh, this one has turned into an absolute nail-biter. Yeah, at this point, you almost expect it to come down to the last possession. Now here's Doncic. Three-pointer. And the Mavericks, another three! Oh, in pressure moments, he's a guy you trust to make big shots. Here's Wall. No luck on that one. Nice D from Cauley Stein. Kleba with it. Checked by Wall. Oh, it's stolen by Tice. Wall against Doncic. Wall gets the bucket. Wall's got 11 points here in the second half. But yeah, Wall has the talent for getting these this side shots. He loves a high percentage. Pass to Cauley Stein. And he makes it on the layup. And the Mavericks lead by two. And you want him taking good shots at this point in the game. And that one was easy. Coach trusts him to make when he plays down the stretch. I mean, because he's shown that ability time and time and time again. He buries it from three. Who are finding ways to contribute. Season open man drops it. Doncic against Wall. And they pick up two. Doncic has got 38 points. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. And that's why they're running plays for him. They're getting him the ball and letting him go work. Now here's Wall, and it's Tice missing. Looking for the spectacular and coming up empty. I'm always surprised when it doesn't happen. I'm sure these two will have a good laugh about it later. <laughs> Great to see guys who don't back down under pressure. Yeah, he approached that one with total confidence. He has what it takes to come through in the clutch. Ladies and gentlemen, your Mavericks dance team. Checked in for the Mavericks. Hardaway comes in for Finney Smith. Substitution for the Mavericks. Kristoff for Zinkin. Tim Hardaway Jr. One seconds left in the fourth quarter. Wall against Doncic. Wall, the pass to Tice. Back to Wall. Green for three. And it's good! Oh, a tremendous three! We're tied! Oh, he just caught the defense now. He shoots a very high percentage from three-point range, and there's no hand in his face. Now here's Doncic. They do have a foul to give if needed. Time out charge to Houston. Who won the teaser? Ladies and gentlemen, your Maverick Dance Team. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Wall. Here's Wood. And there's contact and a whistle. So he's got two shots coming up. 
And Dallas gets called for the foul. We saw Christian Wood break out during the 2019 2020 season. He shot 57% from the floor, earned himself a monster free agent contract during the offseason. Shooting two. He hits the first one, and that narrows the gap to one. Don't want them to run out the clock. We've got 13 seconds left in the final quarter, and they go to the intentional foul. is widely considered the second best league in the world. And so both free throws good. And it's a three-point game. And it's going to come down to a three-point attempt. I mean, what a huge moment to come through at the line. And just a beautiful looking shot from long range. Mavericks went out call. Chich up top. Yes! Oh, he's been so dependable in this game, taking nothing but good shots. And so the big win by Dallas in a tight game. That was an incredible night of hoops. A tremendous finish. They waited until the very last moment to seal it. And so many times we see these close games won by the whole team. And now let's check in with Allie LaForce with the player of the game. Allie. Luca, in the end, you guys managed to protect home. We know how exciting this game was to watch. What was it like to play? I mean, it was, you know, intense. I'm pretty sure the crowd was in. Uh, they're amazing fans. They always are here for us in the loss or win, so I just appreciate them. And they, they just lift us up. It's all for the fans, guys. Allie, thank you as always. And that'll wrap it up, folks. Along with Grant Hill, Chris Weber, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching tonight's presentation. And as we leave, we give you our New Balance player of the game, Luka Doncic.
I been going jeans, cause I'm cool rap. Shit, no shoes overseas, they were pan level. Shop in Tokyo, Japan, they the best of them.